it is time for a very special episode of the Cretaceous Desert Park, because today we'll add two new species from the newest Cretaceous Predator Pack. Those will be a new pack hunter, the Utahraptor, and a feisty concavenator. We'll also create a new plaza using a lot of new decorations from the free update. <laughs> Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back at the Cretaceous Desert Park for a very special video because we'll be adding the new dinos from the newest Cretaceous Predator Pack to our park. After reading some facts about the new dinos, I decided that the Utahraptor and the Concavenator should be a, a good matches for our desert park, which means that you guys should be able to guess what dinos I will add to our other project, the Prehistoric historic sea world in the next episode of that series. If you are watching this video on a day of its premiere and if you are wondering why the heck this guy is able to build for those dinosaurs a day before the official premiere of the new pack, well this is because Frontier, the official developer of Jurassic World Evolution 2 gave me an early access to this new pack. Uh, this is my first early access to any Jurassic World Evolution 2 pack so I wanted to include here a little thank you to Frontier for considering me for this early access for you know giving me this opportunity to you know record those videos a bit earlier uh, normally you get the access for several days before the official premiere of the pack so I was able to record some videos before uh, by the way this video should be the third one uh, today on my channel there should also be a video where I will showcase some of the animation and different behaviors of the new dinosaurs and also a video where I will show you things added to the game with the new free update uh, such as new decorations and the new skins of the dinos that we already had in the game. Uh, so if you are interested in that, I'll put the links on the screen right now and uh, uh, they are always in the description down below so you can go and check it out. So yeah, thank you so so much Frontier, this means a world to me. Uh, I am still a rather small channel, so me getting an early access with the likes like the incredible channels of Evolution Square or Best in Slot and other like amazing people uh, yeah I was so gacked when I got this email so uh, thank you again and yeah let's talk about the build and let's talk about the new animals and what I planned for them like quickly planned because I actually didn't have too much time because when you'll be watching this video I am currently uh, on a little vacation that I planned long ago uh, and I didn't know that I will get this early access so I really had like three and a half days to record all those videos so it was a bit tough but I was still able to record quite a lot so I hope you guys will enjoy all the videos as I told you the links are down in the description if you'd like to see uh, some things and if you would like to see more videos from the Jurassic World Evolution 2 from me remember to subscribe maybe there are some new people who just stumbled upon my channel because of this video so hi guys my name is Caesar Creates uh, I am a creative builder in the games like Planet Zoo but also Jurassic World Evolution 2 I love both of those games uh, and they are appearing here and there on my channel so if you like to see more builds more creative parts sandbox builds mainly because this is what I'm known for definitely consider to subscribe to my channel because there's a lot a lot of new things coming in the future I have so so many cool plans but yeah let's now finally talk about today's builds so if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that I have those two different series now on YouTube uh, from this game. One is the Cretaceous Desert Park that we are sort of like finishing right now. And also I have the Prehistoric uh, Sea World, the sort of a newer series that is really amazing. If you guys haven't seen that, uh, I would recommend you to do it because uh, I think that this is actually the best what I the best thing that I created in this game. I still love this park that we are creating today, but just saying. And the second that the new dinos were announced, like the new DLC was announced, uh, I just had to match them somehow to those parks. So I started to read more about them through some facts that we know uh, about them and try to pick which dinos I should, you know, put in which parks. 
And one of the certain picks was the Utah Raptor for this park, for the desert park, because I have actually been to Utah. <laughs> the Utah Raptor is from Utah, so yeah, I have been there in April this year and it was amazing. It was such an amazing place, beautiful. I would love to go there again. Uh, I am from Europe, so it was quite a long trip to go to Utah. <laughs> I have been on a road trip through several states in the United States and one of them was Utah State. I've seen the Zion Park. I've seen the Bryce Canyon uh, and for example Arches Canyon and so on and this environment like sort of part of the Utah is more like a deserty environment so I knew that uh, you know the Utah Raptor it should go to the our desert park maybe in the times when the Utah Raptor was alive it was slightly different because I read something that uh, it was like a semi-arid uh, climate with the wet season, so probably there was some rain and so on in some seasons of the year. Uh, but uh, I still think that it suits so well to this park. Uh, and I decided to build something inspired by my trip, uh, so I went for a canyon. Uh, it is sort of difficult to build like very steep edges in this game uh, because of how the terrain brushes work and so on, but uh, this is something that I wanted to go for in here and what you can see in the speed build. Uh, so I wanted to have a little water section in the middle of the habitat that is actually in the like in the middle of this space that we have left. Uh, and then I wanted to raise like the edges of the habitat and add a lot of those beige desert rocks to it to uh, you know create those really cool textures uh, and rotate the rocks in the way so they are more flat uh, like those canyons in United States stage they don't have like very pointy edges or anything there's a lot of flat surfaces so this is what i went for and of course i also added some cacti in there this is the first enclosure i think in this park that we are adding those high cacti uh, i didn't want to go for this cliche desert be theme before you know just adding sand and cacti and rocks and then oasis or anything like that uh, but in here i just you know after visiting the utah and arizona and states like that i saw those huge like cacti growing there so it, it was just perfect it looks amazing uh, and i think that the didos look really cool in there and of course we will take a closer look in the uh, real time part of the video after we were done with this it was time to decorate the plaza that I had prepared in the last episode. Uh, we had this circular plaza that appeared to be a bit too big so I had to you know come up with the way uh, to make it look a bit more interesting because it was circular, it was flat, it was not interesting so uh, I skipped a bit of it of creating this because uh, I was just figuring out different stuff. Of course we got tons of different de new decorations like benches, beans, picnic tables so I wanted to use all that in there. Uh, and after I was done, because it was actually my plan to build for the Utah Raptor and then uh, do the plaza and finish this uh, episode, but then I was like, uh, okay, I still have some time, let me build for one more dino, why not? We'll be f done faster <laughs> with the new dinos, we'll be faster with this park, done faster with this park, so why not add another one? And I decided to go for one of my favorites from this DLC, uh, the Concavenator. Uh, it is such an amazing creature and it was actually very high on my personal wish list for this game. I heard about the Concavenator not long ago actually and I and I just thought that it looks so 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 amazing and unique with this hump and it will look like, really cool in the game. Uh, so when it was announced I was just yes it is amazing. A lot of those dinos are actually very like requested and very like fun favorites so Frontier is really listening to us and it's so so cool to see. I wanted to squeeze in this habitat like on the left of our Utah Raptor Canyon uh, and it was actually a perfect place for it. I actually think that the habitats might be a bit too big for it because I was a bit surprised how small the Concavenator is actually in the game. Of course, we'll also take a closer look at it uh, in the real-time part. The main challenge for that habitat was covering the fence that is just on the like parameter of the map so uh, 
uh, I didn't have too many options uh, like what to do with the fence that is you know on the edge so I just had to cover it somehow so it looks hidden and not so in your face uh, I took that from my zoo experience and zoo knowledge I always try to you know give the habitat some background or anything like that so this is what I did in here as well this is all when it comes to the speed build part of the video and I will meet you guys in the real time part in a second to show you everything that we've built in this episode Welcome to the second part of this video where we'll take a look at everything that we added. Let me just tell you that I just love how everything has turned out. Uh, I wanted to have this canyon and I just simply have it in here. It looks so amazing. Uh, and I think that the Yultai ra Raptor looks just, you know, so, so good, good in here. Uh, they are really beautiful dinos. They are like... Uh, just compare them to one of some of the base game like dinos the frontier really really like improved when it comes to the dino models and this just proves it it is so so good this one is actually my favorite when it comes to the skins uh, i just love this coloration this ombre effects on it and so on maybe they'll showcase some uh, like uh, animation if not the animation video uh, showcasing all the different dinos should be already out on my channel so yeah this is the uh, Utah raptor uh, like canyon that i really wanted to create so uh, i wanted to have this u shape uh, i wanted to go for more like a even like steeper like edges but it's the game just simply doesn't work like this and you are not able to do that uh, but uh, i was able to achieve something like this like all those flat rocks look really amazing on the sides i also love those cacti i love the joshua trees and this lock here also looks so so amazing uh, I just wish that Frontier would give us more of those. I would love to have more variation when it comes to different like dead trees, logs and stuff like that because they just add this like character to our enclosures. Uh, let's just go and quickly have a better look at one of our Utah Raptors. I just need to learn those names uh, because they are so, so good. Let's just look at them, how the feathers look their sounds everything is just right they are so so good uh, they have a really cool social animation but uh, again if they want to display it right now we won't be waiting for this uh, we you can go to my second video where i am showing you more of the animation but this skin in here in particular is so good the scratching animation is also amazing uh, oh here it is look I just love the roll on the ground, like amazing, such an amazing creature. And by the way, it also has a really cool goat kill animation, but uh, I won't show it to you right now. Go and watch my other video. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is the plaza that we also created. What I found out that the new benches, they have like really tiny hitboxes. So you can create stuff like that and it looks so, so good. Like you can create like seating areas around different things in the game. Uh, so yeah, this is just simply what I did. I also used those new blacks in here. They also look so good. And the colors are just perfect for this project. Um, I also used the new fountain that we have. Uh, all those, like, you know, uh, the trees and the, and the plants in the middle, they change depending on the biome that you are building in. Uh, so, so yeah, amazing stuff. Uh, if, you are, if you want to see all of those uh, dec decorations up close, uh, there also we will be a new video out on my channel right now so you can go and check them out also those are the new benches for the guests uh, obviously the guests are not able to use them those are only the, the decorations but they add so much more like a uh, realistic touch to our parks like i love those benches they look so both benches and bins both they look amazing uh, so we have this new uh, plaza in our park uh, it is overlooking the Spinosaurus uh, habitat that we did last time. The other circle is in here and it is a habitat. And this one, I wanted to have uh, a place for the guests to chill out a bit. Uh, and yeah, I went with this like cool design of the paths. And I also add some new picnic benches that I, well, in here. Uh, so yeah, this was quite a lot of work, but I really love how it has turned out. Uh, I and also I did slight a slight mistake because maybe not a mistake but I built this I had this circle and this thing in here gave me such a headache because I just couldn't figure out how to connect the <laughs> the canyon with the circle and I 
tried several things. I actually skipped this part in the video because I was constantly deleting, adding, deleting, adding. And I came up with like this, I don't know, more cacti and more, more, uh, simply more, more rocks. And I think it sort of like ties together uh, this area. So uh, I think it looks cool, but yeah, coming to this point, it was, it was a struggle. Uh, and then here we have uh, the concavenator habitat. So uh, we have actually a goat in here. Maybe we'll see a goat kill, uh, but it is also a bit lower to the ground. Uh, something that I also took from my zoo, <laughs> planet zoo experience. Those habitats always look good when they when the guests have this like view inside of the of the big chunk of the habitat. Uh, and yeah, the, this Dido is just so, so amazing. It has amazing... Oh, we're about to see the social animation. Look. This guy just wanted to play and this one is just, you know, annoyed. And I love this like little... Okay, I would just, you know, try to nip you anyway on the tail. But yeah, it goes for the hump, it bites it on the hump. This one is gets annoyed and uh, yeah, he just wanted to play. Now it look, now it's sad. But they they are so unique looking. There's not, it sort of looks like an Australovenator that we already have in game, but at the same time, it is totally unique because of this hump and those quills that it has on the head and on, on, on the arms in there. Uh, but yeah, the details on this model, amazing, like all of those wrinkles, I also love the skins, uh, they are so, so amazing, this one is beautiful actually. Uh, so yeah, this is the new enclosure, I wanted to build like an oasis for them in here, this one is also beautiful, hello there. Uh, and yeah, let's zoom out a bit, uh, if I will be able to do that, because, you know, capture mode and me, we are not best friends. <laughs> uh, so this is how it looks, this is what I told you I wanted to do, so blend the fences a bit with different plants and different, you know, uh, rocks and so on. And this is all that is actually new in our park. So, uh, I also did some work like around the canyon, so also blended it a bit with our park, but this is the new canyon in here. And uh, yeah, now we can have a look at everything that we've built. Let's go out of the capture mode, actually. Uh, and let's see what we have left for the future episodes, because it is certainly not a lot of space. We only have this part in here and we also have this part in here. So uh, yeah, not too many enclosures are going in. Uh, some of the dinos that were highly requested by you probably I won't have space for it for them, but uh, there are definitely like three or four more species coming. So uh, drop your suggestions down below if you still want to see some Dido's in here, and I will definitely uh, like uh, consider those. I have one that I really want to add. Uh, of course, it is a carnivore because it is a carnivore section. So please, only carnivore suggestions. Uh, but yeah. I just love how this park has turned out. I love this habitat in here. I think it looks so, so amazing. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you are happy for me that I finally got the early access for this game, for the new DLC. I only got once for uh, the free update, free anniversary update, but it wasn't a paid DLC. So this is totally a different story. Uh, so thank you again from Tier. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video uh, what else like the video of course like the video if you enjoyed it uh, and leave me a nice comment down below if you guys had a good time uh, watching the video if you like to support the channel a little bit extra you can do it with the join button down below thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one bye guys